Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from Tech Dragon Info, and today I have a British replay for you. It's been a while since I've showed a British replay, so I figured might as well. This game was actually not too long ago. It is a 9.2 replay, though, and the enemy is already down to tanks. Awesome! Some jackass came in with a ship platoon. Um, it's Mr. Sniper Fox, the mouse, platooned up with M37 and PZ1C. Well, that's just what you get. Ay ay ay. I hate people that platoon up like that. They should really just fix it. I mean, it's not that difficult to not allow people to platoon up a tier 10 with a tier 4 or tier 3 or something like that. So, yeah. Anyways, we are here in my Centurion 7 slash 9. Uh, 7 slash 9? Wow! What the hell is a Centurion 7 slash 9? 7 slash 1, the tier 9. There we go. British medium tank. As you can see, I am still using the stock gun on this thing. I don't even have, uh, I don't even have the A no B barrel yet. Yeah, B barrel. This is the A barrel. So we're gonna use that depression that we have, but that also means I don't have the final turret yet. So my turret is not that strong. Oop, sorry. Well, don't freaking come up the hill right behind me. There's still two pieces of artillery left, and I do believe they're both auto loading. Oh yeah. Uh, no, actually they're tier 9, they're not the auto-loading variation, they're just the normal ones. I'm backing off here, not to get shot in the face. Yeah, just a little bit too late, actually put shots into him. Waiting for him to peek out. By the way, did you guys hear that they are going to change 6 cents? I'm backing off here just to get... Ooh, dang it. Yes, thanks for parking right behind me, thank you. It's like, you know, I don't need an exit, what? But um, did you guys hear about Six Sense? They are going to rework Six Sense. Well, not rework it. Every crew member that's at a hundred percent is going to get Six Sense. You don't have to train it anymore. <laughs> Put a nice shot into the back of his turret as he's fleeing from the scene. Time to move up. Because we definitely finished off um, the first part of the onslaught here and got him on the run, sort of. Anyways, um, they're going to make it so that oh, uh, lag spike, so that. What do we have over here? Oh, ass, ass, ass. Eh, side armor. That works too. Um, they're gonna make it so that your radio operator. Oh, we just bounced a shot. <laughs> your radio operator is going to have six cents. Great job. Somebody just fired in his ass doing team damage for 400 damage. Well done. Um, six cents is. Oh, T34 shot in the face. Yeah, that's bad. The. Um, oh. Yeah, I need a bigger gun. At this point, I really was feeling the pain of being in a, uh, or not being in a, to not have the final gun. We can't even tend the ass here. Yes, that was just a Death Star shot that we absorbed in our side. Yeah, yeah. We are pretty lucky that we didn't get more damage than that. The reason I'm going for his like upper armor is because at this angle we do have a chance to actually go through his upper ass armor there. But um, you know, I'm not too uh, sad about other people taking the shots for me. He just missed a shot. Sadly, we didn't put one in either. And are you kidding me? Uh, gun damage. Great. Base is being capped. Uh. Okay. Let's head back. No. Great. A damaged gun. Well, I'm not gonna fix it. I'm at this point thinking, like, am I even gonna get base in time? But anyways, um, as we're drawing to base, I'll talk about six cents. It's going to be on your radio operator, and you will get it as soon as your radio operator reaches a hundred percent. So you, you this is not soon or anything. It's gonna be a complete overhaul of all the skills. So it's gonna be a while. Like think nine point five or something like that. Oh uh, crap, there's a T-5 there. Uh, not a good angle to go in there. Shit, shit, shit. Well, this game is over. 8 seconds, 7. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <gasps> Holy flippin' balls! <laughs> Somebody reset with 1 second left. Come on guys, the T-95 has all the points. Focus at T95. Enemy armor is damaged. Put one into him, but we need that T95. You see me looking at him. I do want to get that hit. T95. 
We need to get rid of this person as well. Oh, somebody reset him. Awesome. Enemy armor is hit. Go for that engine Enemy shot. There we hot. go. We lit him on Enemy fire. Nice. Destroyed. Finished him off. T95 not looking at me. I'm trying to put one into his track. I'm trying to put, track him sideways. No, nope. he's just gonna look at me, you know. And sure. Ah, oh, this is such a tough thing to hit. Ugh. Well, not hit, but this gun. It's inaccurate as hell. It really is. It's just. I don't know what it is. Go above his spaced armor, but below the sloped armor. Enemy hit. Try to track him in place. There we go. Sure as go. go anywhere. And yeah, now we get the shit of the spaced armor. Great shot. I should have gone slightly higher. Just go for that. Oh, we just got shot in the ass, but I want to finish him off. There we go. So back out. Not the most graceful back out, but it did the job. But now our base is being threatened by an IS-7. Oh, balls. Uh, I don't have that much penetration on this gun. I'm saying help, because this is bad. Enemy armor is Going through his trap will bounce a shot from the IS-7. Put one... Ah, try to put one into his engine deck there. Don't quite get it. He doesn't Enemy focus me. Hit. Put one into his engine deck. He gets slammed there, and Enemy we just block him. Hit. Put another shot into his ass like that. Can we actually reload in time to finish him off? Come on, come on. There we go. Nice. Tank taken out. Let me say good job, Centurion. Yeah, I defended the cap pretty well. It's going around the corner slowly. I was kind of expecting artillery to drop a shell on my face right there. <laughs> I really was, that's why I backed out. Um, but nope, nothing happened. Okay, let's move up. So it's still a pretty close match, although we do have some big heavy tanks still, but they still have a mouse, so... Eh. Oh, found the already. Don't have a line on him. Definitely wasn't me who lit him up then. And, holy crap, it's a mouse. Come on, aim, aim, aim. He can see that aim time. It's pretty long for a gun that doesn't have, you know, a whole lot of penetration, and... Definitely, the damage is pretty low, and as you can see, the accuracy is not great. This gun, it works in the Centurion when you go against lower tier targets, but against tier 10s, it just doesn't damage. work all that well anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a useless gun that doesn't work or something, but... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, I wanted that kill so badly. Dang it. Let's take a look at the stats. And here we are with the stats, and my lovely mod again. Um... Replay manager. It's pretty nice. It's slow though. It's really slow. Anyways, yeah, we damaged quite a bit of people there and a lot of big guys, really. Um, I think we saw like the top, top uh, heavies on the enemy side pretty much is all we saw in the entire game. Or heavily armored ones, I should say. Walked away with quite a bit of experience. 1181 base experience is pretty good. 3200 damage done, 3 kills. I mean, a tier 9 in a Pretty bad, well, not bad, but pretty tier 10 kind of matchup. And... Okay. He team killed one, he team killed one, and he team killed one. Holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah, we did third for damage, but like I said, I'm still using the stock on this thing, so it can only go up, right? Fire 29 shots, hit 24, 19 penetrated, not the best on the planet. Um, couple of bad shots. Um, the one at the T95, uh, when he was in the cap circle, the first one I did from top of the hill, that was just a bad shot, I shouldn't have gone for that, that was useless, so, that was a really bad shot, so that's at least one of them that I shouldn't have fired, but, 3200 damage, that's still pretty good, took 6 hits to the face, 3 of them penetrated, 3 did not, 1800 damage blocked by armor, I think one of them was an IS-7 shell, if that was his top, oh, well, actually, there's only one gun, right? Was it two guns in the seven? I don't remember, but in either case, you know, that's a pretty damn big shell. Then we bounced a couple more shells, um, and we dodged a couple of shells as well, so we did pretty good in that game. We spotted two, we damaged six, and we destroyed three. Got a little bit of spotting damage, actually. On who? On the mouse. Okay. Cool. <laughs> not quite sure how I managed that, but cool. We got 60 base defense points, sadly not enough for defender. Because all I got was a Master Batch second class, sadly. Did not drive very far. Walked away with a little bit of a profit, but this was a three times event, so three and a half K experience, I'll gladly take it. 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.